<clears throat> Hello guys, so not walking Barley Paddy Fields anymore. I am absolutely in London for we'll take a walk around Leicester Square to Balfour Square, maybe a bit of Chinatown. And yes, I've got some new gear, so we'll see how we get on with this as well. I might even put the mic on. Let's see how we get on. Let's see what trouble we can get into. Seems actually quite quiet here. And I haven't been to Trafalgar Square for absolutely years. And I can tell you now, it's completely shrunk. This used to be part of um, Nelson's Column. And, uh, and they've blocked this part off as well. Oh, they must have some, some event going on. Well, I've got a little tale to tell you about these lions. So these lions that you're looking at here um, were created by Queen Victoria's favourite artist, which was Edward Landseer. And he was a very talented painter. Um, he did Valley of the Glens. And uh, Queen Victoria gave him the commission to do these lions, which frankly he didn't want because he's not a sculptor. And uh, he kept putting it off, putting it off. And it got so bad of him not doing it that the government just gave him a... Oh, that's right. He said he was waiting for a lion at London Zoo to die before he could uh, then do the sculpture from it. And uh, <laughs> uh, in the end, he took so long, the government gave him a couple of cats and told him just to get on with it. And if you look at the actual back of the lion, it's actually quite, quite an arch, which is closer to that of a cat than it is actually of a lion. And, uh, and that's one of your random facts for the day. Oh, it's quite fun being in London. Although I am missing the blue skies of, um, I am missing the blue skies of Bali and Thailand. Yeah, very much so. That's the, uh, the National Gallery there, which actually I'm going to do a walk off. And I'm just going to show you quickly London. traditional English red phone boxes which aren't in use anymore and each one of them had a queue of tourists waiting to have their photograph taken with it so I thought it was quite funny 
we might nip into Jewelry Lane um, later on. And here's a national portrait. We're just nipping into uh, Leicester Square. Square this way you get all the previews and the premieres. That's where you get Jim Carrey and Tom Cruise and all the other actors just swanking their stuff. Also it's very quiet around here today. Hippodrome. Is it a gay bar? Okay, I've never been to the Hippodrome back then or now. There we go. Yeah, so those of you who are um, the seven percent who actually keep who are following my videos on on my channel, thank you very much. But yes, it must be quite a surprise. Uh, six months ago, it was paddy fields and Ubud, and then beaches and Changu and Sana, and uh, and then suddenly it jumped to Hua Hin in Thailand, and now here we are in London. Um, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'll come back and I'm, I'm here for a while so I'm going to be doing a lot of London videos 
So I'm quite looking forward to it to be honest. Um, more so when the sun comes out. These great skies are killing me. Uh, they really are. Um, but we're going to get some fascinating content around here, I think. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. And uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Chinatown down there. Indiana Jones, that's a bit of a random statue, isn't it? So they've got construction going on at the moment, so we can't go into the centre of the square. So we can't get a close up of William William Shakespeare there contemplating a play, I guess, or just modern life. <laughs> brilliant Harry Potter, and how brilliant! <laughs> Mary Poppins as well, can I look at that? <laughs> well, many years ago, like 30 years ago, I used to be a co-rider for a horse-drawn carriage company. They used to do uh, guided horse-drawn carriage rides around uh, around London, and they, we used to start from just here. Oh Actually, God. funny enough, the road was wider, and so we'd park our horse-drawn carriages just where the uh, where the line bikes are. That's a modernisation for you, right there. Yeah, we would park up just along here, and that was brilliant. And that was crazy, yeah. So the two main horses, and that's a bit of Chinatown there. But we're going to go to Leicester Square now. Um, two main horses were called uh, Kevin and Bertie, believe it or not, and uh, <laughs> they were, you could literally put dynamite under them and they would not move. I mean, they would just sit in traffic, they would just sit in traffic in Leicester Square, but, yeah, and you've seen how busy it is around here, and nothing would face them, absolutely amazing. Well, I might be popping in there to buy a... C type to C type. Yeah, Harry. Keep on the shoot off. And London taxis. Aren't as uh, tranquil as they used to be. Although, say, now I went into a very nice taxi over Christmas time. They'd completely decked it out. It had a massive skylight in it, so for tourists to kind of look up. And, uh, but it had. Like fake snow all around the windows. Uh, very uh, festive. Very festive indeed. Yeah, so Piccadilly isn't what it used to be, that's for sure. The, uh, the statue is covered over, sadly, and Virgin Records went many decades ago. Yeah, this is the first phone box I've seen without a queue of tourists. Oh, they're knackered, that's why. And the two by the mall um, are very well, very well um, got after. And here as well. This. Let's give you a close up of. This should be a video all on its own. Oh, look at that, out of service. To be fair, when they were working, they weren't working.
it's on the right. I'm not sure the name on the left. Well, I know that if you go down here, you go to the Ritz and on the left hand side and the Royal Academy of Art on the right and then that leads you on to Marble Arch and then you've got Hyde Park on the right and then you go further down and you have Harrods on the left I thought we we're going to end this walk here guys and I hope you enjoyed that and like I say this is my uh, first attempt with this new oh I should have taken the hat off and this is the first attempt uh, with my new uh, new camera um, I hope you like it um, until the next one take care of yourselves bye guys GoPro stop filming GoPro stop filming GoPro stop filming GoPro stop filming